chat. To the Grand Library. Hey, Stone Mushroom, thank you for the seven months. For doing it, chat. Art thou now assured of thy want to be born anew? Now, bear this sweeting into life anew. something. <clears throat> so the highest one needs 28. Art thou now? Bigger, bigger level ups give so much. Int? Well, I'm trying something else real quick. Let's just see how this goes. I have, I have like 15 respects available, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so. I want to try dragon. Actually, shit, I shouldn't have respect yet. is not a good idea. Okay, I need I need a fucking weapon, but I'm kinda curious how much Yeah, I wanted to kill the dragons for the rest of the hearts. But the thing is I'm not high enough level to do this. I'm I'm really not. level 99 yeah okay where do I want I want to explore the northern area today I don't know I'm, I might actually wait to get a few more level ups before I try to respec now this dragon magic is going to use way too much respect again. Yeah, I might actually be going back to the damage, but the problem is I don't...
levels might be out of whack somehow. Alright, yeah, dude, I need my greatsword. Using just straight magic. Like, the problem is, using straight magic isn't... Well, it's viable if you use, like, shitty spells, but the dragon spells use way too much. I mean, I have the mana leech thing, but I don't... Well, I can try it, but I don't, I don't think it's nearly enough. a bit, but... Like, this, this should probably melt bosses. I'm not high enough level is the problem. I'm I'm going to play for a few more hours with my previous build. I know. I know I'm sorry, but I just well, I, I don't know, like I could use I just, I don't want to upgrade something and then kill a great, like, a demigod and just find something else that I want to switch to anyways. I don't, I don't really know. Like, I could do, I could try to do an int build with the... What the fuck is it? I could try to do an int build with the bastard's stars. The, the baby rattle. I, I don't feel like it's going to be that good. you power stance them though I guess then you'd have to upgrade too did I respec well I'm, I'm thinking about it right now but I don't know. The wing of Estelle is also pretty cool. I guess I can... Ah, is it thy way? Now. I have so many. Like, the thing is, if I want to go in... I can get like 50 and then How much dex did I need for that weapon though? Yeah, it was 22. That sucks.
Yeah, that's the thing though. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to respect for the comet. I need FP is the problem. I don't know. I feel like if I had another maybe like 10 or 20 levels, then the build would be really solid. I do have I do have helmets to give int. Do I have any armor that increases int? Actually. I don't think there's anything that increases int further than this. Greeting, do you have a Oh yeah, let me get rid of this stupid effect. Wait a second. I feel like I'm going to be disappointed in this weapon. Actually have back over no matter. I, okay, I can upgrade it to plus eight. If anything use that in sword? Yeah, well we're going for the flail. I mean it has 168 plus 172. It's pretty good. But I still don't feel like this is gonna be... I feel like this is gonna be kinda disappointing. But I can also put on... Alright, hold on. I can also put on some magic spells. <coughs> and I can also put on this, which gives me raises potency of sorceries and then do I have one that reduces FP cost I have this one that bit raises intelligence further sure. right, well there's a lot of magic that I can try out guys <laughs> can't use comet unfortunately but Okay, the cannon. Can you enchant this weapon? Probably not. Well, I charged up the spell, to be fair. So I can't buff. Let's see. Rock Blaster. So get Comet. Star Shower. This Great Bow. Aryan Great Sword. Aryan Piercer. Night Comet. 
the hell is this? Tibia's summons. Question is, what kind of staff do I want to use? This has really high scaling. I guess the meteorite staff is the best. And it cannot be strengthened. Yeah, this is really good. All right, chat. You know what? This build might actually work out. I don't think the we I don't think. I don't know how the weapon is gonna be, but. Sixty-six ends. You're going to fucking wreck. Oh yeah, I forgot to give myself the new Estus. Okay, I'm really curious how much damage I'm gonna do here. One more level ups for the moon spell, chat. I could respec and get more ends, but we'll just we'll get we'll get there eventually. No, oh, this thing actually hits pretty hard. Uh, this build might might work out pretty well, chat. I need to give myself uh, one more Ash and Estus, though. <clears throat> the bow skill... It, the bow skill is pretty slow, but... Yeah, I beat Radon. I st I have like so I have the entire northern area to explore. Like the north, the north I've barely done anything, but I've fully explored Liurnia and Limgrave and Kalid pretty much, and I've also explored a bunch of underground dungeons. Looks dumb as hell. Well, here, let me put on it. Let me put on some different like armor at least, because this armor's kind of gross. Don would be murdered by this build. Yeah, he really would. <laughs> yeah, I changed to an int build. The Lake of Rot. No, this this staff can't even. The, the re, this staff is crazy good because it cannot be upgraded, so it's just really good on its own. This is gonna be like the go-to sorcery staff because not having to upgrade it is just amazing. Like, look at the difference in this. So the damage you do is based on your sorcery scaling. Look at all these other staffs, like 160, 170, and then this one's just 252. It has S scaling on end. Where do you get it? I believe it was in Liurnia. But I can't remember, to be sure. I'm gonna put on 
the soul boost. Oh, maybe it, actually, yeah, I think you're right. I think it was in the red area. It was in like this tiny building. No, I don't think it was in the meteor hole actually. I think it, I think it was in Kaled's area. You're level 35 with 42 end. I mean, you should probably get some help if you're having issues with that. I can't believe it's day four, yes sir. The damage on this is pretty pretty dang good though. I'm pretty happy with it. The spin attack did like 1300 damage. Mana goes away very quickly. The thing is, you get a lot of refills, so... This weapon is really nice for horseback, I gotta say. Oh, right. Oh, shit, there's a map. There's a map! How can you modify your build? Uh, you need to go to Rhea Lucaria's. You need to kill the boss in the academy. How can you tell the map? So if you if you look at the map, see this pillar here? This is the map. This is the map. It shows up. Visit the guy you let into the academy with the glenstone key. Uh, no, I, I have not figured. I don't know where he is. Sharon. Josh is here. Yes, Nurse Josh. I have not killed the dragon from the trailer yet. Or the... I know, I know, I know which one you're talking about. Not found it yet, though. <laughs> yeah, casting spells on horseback is really nice. Respect to Ink Sharon. I want to see some of my spells.
Oh wow. Good shot. This one's pretty sick. Any enemies? deleted from the game. <laughs> While she was gigantic, yeah. yeah. Slowpoke is like... Can't even get out of the room anymore. Too big. Are there two golden suits here? Oh my god. Are you gonna do the thing? What's up? Are you gonna do that one thing that you forgot? That I showed you yesterday? Oh yeah. Yeah, I need to do that. You... Please... I can read them. Hey, Penguinzilla, thank you for the four months. Your fingers, please, your fingers. <sighs> the fingers I served once. I took a shower. Uh, I took a shower last night. A tarnished would one day become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Yeah, she is wearing like a memory slot necklace. Surely you see it too. The gold that enshrouds the heavens. The great tree which begets the pillars of light. Oh, tarnished. Hasten to the foot of the tree. And whatever you might face, the fingers. <clears throat> Will surely guide you. Okay. I'm not sure I want to go up there. I just want to get the damn map. I'm ridiculously OP. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm pretty strong. I tried the dragon magic, but it uses so much FP. Like, the problem is you can't realistically use it for, like... Enemy, you, if you kill enemies with the dragon magic, you're just gonna run out. You're gonna run out of FP. Time is it? Uh, 8 a.m. You wanna go, bitch? The fucking Dark Souls 3 go. should have got off my horse. I should have got off my horse. I knew I should have got off my horse. Yeah, he does seem to have a bit of magic in this. You know what? I can get another... Another Estus Flask. Ridiculously OP. Yeah.
Amber Medallion. Oh, nice. That's... Greatly raises max stamp. Gives 11 stamina. The baby rattle killer. <laughs> Mimic. Get him, buddy. hours do I sleep? Like six or seven? Generally what I've been sleeping for. Did I change my build? I did. I'm using sorceries now. Grind them out. My mimic is plus ten. Quite a strong boy. Right, the map. Yeah, the respecking is like very easily available in this game. So this is the item that gives me respects. I have eight of them still. And apparently you can buy them too. Can buy the respec items so yeah like respecing is very very common what the hell there's you know i saw bach had a lot of estus and i was wondering how and it makes sense now because there's so many fuck there's so many golden seeds here i have 12 estus now defeating Granala. Let's go, dude. And see. I'm gonna go up this way and then maybe I'll go down. Some 
holy grace. a new save nope <clears throat> i just respect luckily i've i've been exploring a shit ton so i actually have enough materials to upgrade like multiple weapons very high there is a talisman for fp on kill cookbook. Isn't this another sacred tier? Oh, probably not. Well, maybe. Wait a second. Golden Order Seal? Chad, I think I can go through that one fog gate now. Where the heck is it? Is it not in key items? Am I blind? Maybe this isn't... I don't think it's a trinket. I have two parts of the elevator key? I know, I that's how I got here, my dude. Oh, it's <laughs> boosts fundamentalist incantations. Scales and incantations using both intelligence and faith. Interesting. Okay. I got confused. That is okay, that is not what I needed. <laughs> but it's still fine. More loot for me. Dude, how many people fucking killed themselves here? Jumping acquired rough. <laughs> oh shit! stain in the dirt. <laughs> oh, the timing on that was just too good. Really overpowered. <laughs> yeah. 
<clears throat> well, I'm also pretty overpowered, so, you know, makes sense. Just mimicking me. Giant Crusher. A big hammer. 60 strength. Holy shit. Put on stronger ar strong armor and weapon before summoning. Well, my weapon's good. I wonder if you equip a weapon that you don't have the stats for, if the mimic can use it. Still. Is it the best game you've ever played? Uh, I honestly think it, it very well might be. Hey, Mox. If I found a weapon called Rivers of Blood. No. Armament aloft in prayer, then slam it into the ground. This inspired blow restores HP to the self and nearby allies if it hits. Sounds pretty cool, actually. There's a dungeon down here. There is. What level am I? I am level 99. <laughs> hey, Jacob, thank you for the two months. Thank you, buddy. To be honest, I probably should have upgraded the, the int sword instead of the rattle. But I, I don't know. I, I like the rattle. Illusory wall. Where did I farm runes? I, I I haven't farmed at all. I just I've been playing. This game. Ooh, I might get some more somber stones here. Stone. Nice. I could probably buy a Smithing Stone that's like 3 and 4 now. Did respec, yes. And there's a lot of illusory <laughs> walls here. See the weapon art? Yeah, the weapon art on this is really cool.
charge R2 on this thing really takes a long time though. <laughs> not like it's not very good. This build's not that weak, but the the magic spells I don't know. A lot of these like metal enemies seem to be resistant to magic to some degree. Yeah, the bow charge is really, really slow. Ooh, somber stone. So I actually think I needed another five. I did. Perfect. Isn't it three demigods? No, Renala isn't a demigod. Well, according to the NPC in the in the stronghold, he said Renala is not actually a demigod. What a level! Yeah, I mean you can you can beat all the Souls games in SL1, but uh, good luck. Okay, what the fuck is this? like the biggest AOE I've ever seen. name this is the bastard stars this is a cool dungeon though this one's been pretty different compared to most of the dungeons I've found like it 
like I'm going down to Ash Lake. Today, Miyazaki. He almost got me, though. Tried. Shit hit and hit multiple times. Onyx Lord's great sword. What was that guy saying that this build is shit? What was it called? It's a curved greatsword, that's why I was confused. Onyx Lord's Repulsion. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna run all bosses for this game. Not right away, but... Like, any percent is gonna be my main focus for quite some time. A second, there's. Wait. What is this? Is this. Is this the Divine Tower? What? The je the jellyfish would probably be a good idea to use. Can I still get the buff? Oh no, I can. Let me actually try. There is some other magic I didn't try yet. I feel like Star Shower might be decent. Also, Magic Downpour, I'll try that. Meteor. Oh, you know, I should use the meteor stuff, considering... Actually, I don't... Wait, is there gravity sorceries, too? Oh, this is what it is. Gravity sorceries. And, well, I guess... I guess these are all... I think the purple ones are all gravity sorceries. In which case, these are probably going to do the most damage, the purple ones. I get a bit if I got a bit more faith I could actually use golden bow. Can I use flame grant me strength? I can.
I have not used the moon spell yet. So this jellyfish gives me an attack rating boost. Oh right, flame grant me strength isn't actually going to... Yeah, it doesn't give me nearly as much of a boost because this is an int weapon. Tightly blocked shut. You don't have the right. You don't have the right. Okay, yeah, this is like a divine tower, I think. It is the divine tower, okay. Well, we have. We can come back to this later now, at least. Um, is that an air tree there? I don't think there's anything else in the mine for me to explore. I mean, we killed the boss, so... Maybe there's a hidden illusory wall. I was trying to look for other stuff, like... Yeah, the yellow flames are, like, story indicators. I did respect, yes. reduces a cook level. That's... What are these enemies? Oh, they're like... They're, uh... Bone snails or something. What level am I? A hundred. Big one hundred. Bosses? Any stray demons?
Crystal Tear and Crimson Crystal Tear. Oh. Briefly stop rune loss on death. Oh, that's actually interesting. That's actually pretty nice. Like, if you're going into a boss for the first time, you have some souls. I mean, well, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like niche, but I guess if you had that in your flask and, like, you know you're going to die, you can kind of just pop it and then suicide, essentially. Keep your souls. You could just die on purpose, even. <laughs> This weapon art is really good.
option to lock onto his arms. He's like, his, I was expecting more from that. His arms are the weak point. 3k. 3k. So, like, soul balance in this game is kind of questionable, which is fine. I mean, not everything needs to be, like, balanced in terms of how many souls they give, but... Yeah, like... It's, uh... There's enemies in some areas that you can kill in, like, three hits, and they drop 5,000 souls, and then... Get my stats. Hey Chrissy, thank you for the 31 months. It's down here. weapon is sick as fuck. Yeah, I, li I like this weapon. It's, uh... I wish the weapon art had, like, a follow-up. If it had a follow-up, that would be just so fucking... so dank. Like, the weapon art is really cool, but I, I love what I love weapon arts with follow-ups as well. sword from yesterday. It's in the Divine Tower of Kaelid. Meant to use those... Oh, no. I meant to use Big Bear. Come here, Big Bear. kill item was okay. It's not really worth the talisman slot though in my opinion. Like you get FP restores from killing enemies in the first place. So dude, where the fuck is this about to go? <laughs> this looks like another I'm going to end up in another underground area. <laughs> isn't really th this build isn't really better than the one I was using yesterday but I just wanted to change it up and try out sorceries six more underground areas back to back 
what's up with the fog gate? It might be glitched. I need better spells. I mean, I've got some pretty good spells, but... Hold on, I'm gonna quit out. I just want to see if this is a glitch. I don't think it is, but... Hey, my worthless pride. Oh wait, was there an imp? Am I blind? <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. Magic seems underpowered. Yeah, I haven't been too... I haven't been too impressed with the magic so far, but... Golden Epitaph. Oh, it's a holy straight sword. Yeah, there's gonna be an all bosses category. I don't think it's gonna be very popular, though. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Okay, I think it's okay. Was another one in front of me, I guess. There's an enemy up there. That's just a statue. Too heavy.
There's a respawn statue. Thank fucking god, Miyazaki. It's kind of annoying. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to get rid of the HP, the HP reduction. Like the girl hugged me and I lost my HP, and then I used I used the the poise thing, but it's I'm my HP is still drained.
I could have sworn if you did. I thought if you just use Baldekin's blessing, it gets rid of it. Maybe bug sometimes. Need to hug again.
combo is super hard. Holy shit. Crucible or do Oh, it's the greatsword from the network test. Cool. It's also a faith greatsword. Dude, I have so many weapons though, like holy shit. I I've been watching a few streamers and like I've seen them go through their weapon list. I'm not like bragging or anything, it's just <laughs> like I have spent so maybe they put maybe they put their we maybe put they put weapons in the storage box actually. But holy fuck have I looted a lot of shit. There's a cave in the area you fought the general, what, Radon? Really? You're trolling me. You're probably just trying to get me to waste my time. Well, you know what, I'm gonna look, because I'm curious. I feel like I'm being trolled. Alright, so we're on the beach. Oh wait, I think I see it. where I came from. <laughs> I'm being trolled, aren't I? Oh, my mic's muted. Is this the... It's there. It's... What do you mean it's there? Is that? Is this the new... Is this the troll? Is this the new Elden Ring troll? Dreamer, there's something on the beach. Go run around in circles. Wait, I see it.
mod him. Okay. Settle down, chat. sword right now. I'm not a huge fan of magic. I'm like considering going back to the faith build, but I would like to try a different. I, I have unlocked a few different faith weapons. How easy it is, is it to respect? It's really easy. Respecting is like the easiest it's, ever, easiest it's ever been. Yeah, I do want to get 70 in for the moon spell. Yo, what is going on here? I need more fucking health for that, dude.
Hmm. What's up, peanut butter? So tanky. The main issue is I don't have much way of boosting my, uh, I don't have much of a way of boosting my damage. I have the jelly shield. Should have used the flask. Starting running Elden Ring. Yeah, I mean, speedrunning this game is going to be pretty crazy, but it's going to take a long time to figure out, figure out the route and everything. There's a chest. I wonder if there's an illusory ball here. spell.
think I can get one level up. Fifty-three and fifty-nine actually. You wanna see the moon spell? Yeah, me too. I'm getting there though. I actually only need one more level up and then I can use it. If I pop uh Runa. Why am I going down here? of this fucking thing I've found. I might have to go back to my faith build for this one. I mean, I can definitely do it, do this, but... I don't really want to pop a rune arc, I'm probably just going to lose it.
but I think I can do this. Especially if I summon the Mimic. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill this guy, and then I'll be able to test out the Moon spell. Maybe we'll we'll roll with the inbuild for a bit longer, but it's uh, not that great so far. I mean, I have pretty high. I have 59 ints as well. So, but I do. I I think scaling goes all the way up to 99 in this. I don't even know how to use... I don't even know... I know.
The moveset of that boss is actually not too bad, though. Souls, I, there, I don't have any souls to pick up. He's hitting the transformation state he insta dies. I guess so. I guess so. Okay, we can try the full moon spell now. So I have 65 int, and if I put this on, I have 70. This is just an int build. Bro, I have 70 int. Why is everybody going downstairs? Yeah, that damage is so bad. I mean, to be fair, this is an up unupgraded uh, staff, but oh, sorcery is kind of disappointing. <clears throat> but maybe, th maybe there's like. To be fair, there might be a lot of stuff I'm missing. Like, in Dark Souls 3, a lot of your damage comes from rings. Like, for, for all we know, there could be... There could be another talisman that greatly raises potency of sorceries, and then with the staff fully upgraded, and maybe... Like, there might be multiple s sets of tal... There might be multiple talismans, and, like, even armor, and... There's probably a lot of stuff you can do to boost your damage. Like, in Dark Souls 3, you need the flame clutch ring, you need the witch's ring, you need the the starting pyro ring, and then you also want, like, Lloyd's sword. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm just on some copium shit. Like, maybe, maybe it's just bad. But I do think... I do think it's probably decent with the right items. But just high stats alone really doesn't... I mean, I have 70 in right now, and these spells are not doing as much as I would hope. I mean, this staff has 258 sorcery scaling, and I'm hitting for, like, 500 or 600 with, uh... With the spells, it's kind of bad. I don't know. I could try... Uh, yeah, let me try it on some other enemies real quick. Just to see. Sure. Well, sick. saying it's useless isn't the... Like, it's definitely not useless. It still has... You still have the benefit of being ranged. But... 
this in the world. Try upgrading the staff. This staff can't be upgraded. The staff cannot be strengthened in any way, so it just has really high scaling on its own, basically. I mean, like, yeah, it did more damage to these enemies. It, it, it might be a case of the enemies being slightly magic resistant, too, but... Fast travel is necessary. Like, there's a main story quest that has you go from L Liernia all the way back to Limgrave, down, like, down here, to the Waypoint Ruin Cellar. I don't think, like, having to run all the way back, all the way there, and then run all the way back up, it's just, it's, the game isn't, desi isn't designed. I mean, like, somebody will do it. Somebody will do a no-fast travel run, but it's really not going to be a fun thing to do. That damage is good, right? But I I can also just do that amount. Of, I, can, I can also just do that amount of damage with one attack of my great sword. It is a cool fucking spell, though. AOE as well. That's true. You know, I have something that increases casting speed, but I can't remember. I can't remember what it is. It might be like a talisman. This one. Yeah, the Azure Staff. Yeah, I've tried some gravity spells. They're not... Like, I have... I have... This staff boosts gravity sorcery. But it's just not... attack. But like, like I was saying, I'm, I'm probably missing Wrath of, I think we just got Wrath of the Gods, except it's called Wrath of Gold. Golden Shockwave that knocks back foes. I don't know if that does damage, or if it's just knockback people. That's gonna be troll as fucking PvP. <laughs> yeah, I already found a force spell, but it might just be like force with a bigger AoE. 
I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I go back to, uh... Should I go back to Faith? Or do we, do we stick it out with End? I mean, it's up to me, obviously. I'm just curious. Upgrade a staff. Well, the thing is, this staff that I'm using, it doesn't, it doesn't have any upgrades, but it has really high scaling on its own. Like, all these other staves, the sorcery scaling is 160 or 170, right? This staff has S in scaling off the bat. Like, it's already 80 higher. I do think, I mean, a, fu a fully upgraded staff is probably better than the meteorite one, though. But it's good as like a, ba a base starting staff, I suppose. But I'm, I'm guessing that... Because, I mean, you could upgrade, I don't know if this is like a, ti a titanite staff. Because if you can upgrade this all the way, all the way to plus 25, it's probably, I imagine the scaling must end up being higher than the meteorite. I don't know though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I really want to upgrade a staff, is the thing. The thing is, up, upgrading stuff is, is gonna be super... What, once I get to, like, really late game area... Once I get to a really late game area... I find the bells that unlock like the smithing stones and stuff, then then it'll be super easy. Upgrade any weapon. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure that you can get uh, the bells to unlock like every single type of upgrade material at the vendor. Well, you can buy upgrade materials, but you have to turn in this, turn in these items. So, like, I have one of them right now. It's the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. If I give this to her, I get access to Smithing Stones three and four. So, I already have the other one, the the first tier. So now I can buy Smithing Stones one, two, three, and four. And I'm pretty sure there's bells that go all the way up to like max, right? So. If you explore enough and get all those bells, then you can just buy all the upgrade materials. It's probably going to be pretty expensive, but still, it's, it's nice. Yeah, you can respec.
hammer. I don't think I have a hammer I can use. Somberstone Bell. Okay, nice. So now I can now I can buy most. Well, I assume. Yeah, I can get Somberstones three and four. So I can I can upgrade boss weapons to plus four now. Just buying stuff. Crystal. Altus Plateau. Interesting, the elevators actually turn you when you're going up them to orient you like the right way when you reach the top. Yeah, this is the map. But it's it's even it's way bigger than this still. And then there's also underground areas too. build for a bit longer but I don't know I'm I'm probably just gonna go back to faith because I I really like that build I might uh <laughs> oh my god another tension okay never mind charge the spells sometimes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's in the set. Okay. It's still in the same dungeon. I, I thought it was going to teleport me to some, like, crazy area again. See the lever. Comet is really good, though, I gotta say. Um, Comet has insane DPS potential. Because you can spam you you can spam it like it it's really really fast but it's like a rapid fire soul spear but he uses a lot of FP oh my the perfect 
Ding kaputt. charge the comet, I believe so. What's up, Zarian? <laughs> Play Elden Ring for 18 hours again, I know, right? Do I have Carrion Slicer? I don't think I do. <clears throat> I might have actually not bought that one. Loosery Wall? Pretty far. Uh, well, main story-wise, I still have a lot left, but I've, I mean, I've, I've been exploring like crazy. I've done so many side dungeons. And... I feel like I'm, I, I missed something. I must just be blind. Yeah, how have you been enjoying it, Zarian? <clears throat> how many demigods have you killed? I'm so confused. Where the fuck am I? so confused. It's like this dungeon just keeps getting bigger. Like, I thought I was towards the end, and then... Do you remember where I got the flail? If you want to get the flail, you need to... kill Radon, go into the meteor and limb grave, and you need to go... through the Ainsel River... Uh, through the Ainsel River, and then you need to get to... Or no, you need to go there... And then you get to the Prince of Death's Throne. You gotta go to the Nameless Eternal City. And there's a coffin. This coffin... will take you to Noxtella, the Eternal City. And from Noxtella, you can get to the Lake of Rot. And then, from the Lake of Rot, then that's where you go.
Yeah, I respect. You guys aren't talking about this chest, right? Because this chest just literally... Well, okay. Maybe it doesn't, but... I'm pretty sure this chest just takes me back to... Where I just was. <laughs> Pretty sure it just takes me back. But maybe not, considering I can just drop down. Yeah, there's something there's something in the ladder area for sure. Um yeah, I mean it's good XQC beat the game, because then. Well, I doubt he's going to do a second playthrough, so... More viewers for me. <laughs> hey, wait. I took... I took this. So I don't see any fog gate up here. What the fuck, dude? Jumping out the window doesn't take me anywhere, though. I saw the lever. It's... Fucking hole up there. This dungeon is really confusing. Dungeon is actually changing. Like, you need to go through the You need to go through the chest multiple times. Because I, I took this chest before and it didn't lead here. Or maybe somehow I'm in this I'm in what looks to be the same area, but it's not the same. Oh, we found it. I don't even know how to get back. Oh my god, this is like the most confusing dungeon ever. What the fuck? Use dark sign? I got 40,000 souls, dude. This 
fucking dumbass. Ashes. Let's go, dude. Re oh, it's this. I wonder if there's one for the big, the big pop boys. This also consumes HP. I think they explode. These reckless spirits sacrifice themselves to vanquish their summoner's foes and explode upon death. Oh, they explode when they die. Okay, I see. How many demigods? Two. Killed two. I'm not gonna respect to faith quite yet. I mean, I don't know. The int int build is okay. It's not it's not terrible. It's just not quite as good as I would have liked. Am I scared to fight bosses? Yes, I'm. I'm shivering. Shaking as we speak. Try to fight him on torrent, actually. Toast spent three hours on this boss. Was it, this, was it actually this boss, though?
was not expecting a one shot there. <laughs> It's so, it's so tough to summon. I mean, summons will be allowed. I don't really think summons are going to be that useful, though, actually. I mean, they do draw aggro from the boss, which is great, but they do also... Getting the materials to upgrade the summons is pretty slow. It's like, you need to basically upgrade the weapons. Yeah, look at this look at this weapon I got by the way yesterday guys. So yeah, you can actually skip this boss here, funny enough. Yeah, maybe counterfeit bagel. skip that boss but you have to do a different boss instead oh yeah that's true actually do i want to respec i don't know i mean the ints i don't know the int like the int build's fun but Faith was better, but... You know, let, we'll go back to Faith, because I actually... There's a few there's a few new spells that I've got since I last, uh... Since I was using Faith last. Is it thy now?
I need dex for the weapon. I think I need like 12. I don't know if I'm gonna- I don't think I'm gonna use the arc- I don't think I'm gonna use the dragon spells anyways, so... I need to see some- I need to see something. I would burn. See, some- some of these still require some ends. I think... Golden Vow does not. I'm just seeing if I need Int at all, really. No, I don't. I need Arcane if I want to use the Dragon stuff. So I need... Oh, it's 22 Dex, 20 Strength. But I have an extra 5. We're gonna go 17, and then we're gonna pump the fuck out of faith. I'm gonna get 60 faith. This strengthens Golden Order incantations. Is there anything else that boosts incantations, I wonder? This one reduces the FP cost. I don't know if there's any armor sets that give really any bonuses. It's all like helmets for the most part. I need to actually fix... Wait, do I not have- oh, I don't have the HP reduction anymore. I guess it actually fixed itself when I respect or something? Faith build is back, baby. Alright, my flame grant me strength. Golden vow, flame grant me strength. Towering black flame is quite good. <clears throat> flame of the fell god is cool, but it doesn't really do that much. Flame of frenzy is really good. <clears throat> I also do like... Elven Stars is really disappointing, I gotta say. <laughs> the spell needs a buff. Wrath of Gold. I wanna try that.
I tried Beast Claws. It's it's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> I know it was good in the network test, but it's really not that good in the main game. It's doing like 400 damage or something. This one's really weird. It's like a Faith Sorcery. I mean, I don't need the cleanse unless I'm going through an area with rot anyways. Which I'm not at the moment. I am pleased. Would you like me to? Then good day to you. Hold on, I want to go... I want to go back here. Yes, I saw Bia was here for somebody. I guess I forgot. I I didn't talk to her. Must have not noticed her when she was here before, and I guess I missed it. Hey Bandicoot, thank you for the five months. Am I doing the Fia quest line? I guess not. Alright, time to explore the capital. I'm gonna go use the restroom before I do it though, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. God, I can't believe I've been playing for three hours already. Made pretty good progress, though. I really like the faith build, I gotta say. I, I do want to switch weapons, though. I really hope I find, like, a boss faith weapon that I can switch. But I, I do prefer... I definitely prefer faith to, to int in this so far. Maybe, maybe there's, like, more int boosting stuff, but... You'd think you would find it in, like, Rhea Lucaria area, but maybe not. Was in damage? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let me try the Wrath of Gold. Yeah, you can also infuse a normal weapon with a fate, uh, like a Faith Ash of War. I could do something like that. I kind of prefer using boss weapons, though. I feel like they're... They generally have, like, unique... Unique attacks, so... Okay. 
am looking at the view. Well, let me, I just gotta get a better, a better view. see an all bosses run with that oh I'm sure I'm sure we'll get around to doing something like that yeah the poise too oh my god the poise no I think I saw Bach had a talisman that raises poise I actually never found that it's probably in this area Behold grass. Lever. Wow, yes, that is... That is a lever. Oh yeah, let me try the Wrath of Gold. That's Wrath of the Gods. damage on these. It's quite nice. I like the music here. So there's an elevator, but I can also... is really cool. Very this is going to be hard to fully explore though. Nice because it knocks him down.
this area is big, dude. <laughs> to find a site of grace. I mean, the respec was okay. Honestly, the da the damage really wasn't that bad on the on the sorceries, but I kind of prefer this I kind of prefer this build, mainly because of, like, the self-buffs. The self-buffs are really nice. Dude, this... I don't know. I don't know if I want to go here right now. I don't want to clear out the upper area first. I've done two of the paintings. The, dr the dragon miracles are genuinely really fucking good. The The biggest problem with them, though, is is the FP consumption. It just, they use so much, so much mana. Should have just hit him with an R1. I probably would have killed him. I find the golden vow spell. I wish I remembered. Might have to check the wiki or something. Damn, I'm kind of far away. Wait a second, why did it? I guess I, I guess I didn't rest at this one. isn't listed anywhere. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe somebody in the stream remembers. And this area is so cool. Did I update the game? I'm not sure. Oh man.
Honestly, dude, <clears throat> I feel like this game is made... Miyazaki made this game in spite... <laughs> well, not made this game, but... I feel like a lot of things is designed despite fucking no hair runners. Lead bed curse. What the fuck is that? A talisman? Curse grown on a body defiled by the dung eater. The dung eater cultivates the seedbed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the air tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. This is a ultra great sword. Could this be a door? Good question. I feel like it is. is probably my favorite miracle. It's so good. This area is really cool. Honestly, really, really large, though. This weapon. I got this weapon at the Divine Tower of Kaelid, which is here. Have I been here before? No. I don't know why. But I look strong as fuck. I, yeah, this build is really good. <laughs> Thank you. 
so this is... Yeah, the music's pretty comfy here. I'm just trying to, like, get my bearings in this area, and it's quite, quite difficult. Still no door. Exploring this whole area is a frickin' nightmare. Oh. Well, I guess we're going down here. Oh my god. My weapon has a like a built-in black flame effect. This Okay, wait. This is where I died before. Okay. abundance of root. Yeah, I mean they copy pasted quite a bit in this game, but honestly it doesn't it doesn't really bother me that much just because bosses that aren't copy pasted are really fucking cool anyways, so All oh, right, this is where I died.
this refills? Should uh, I should really put a heal spell. Put a heal spell on and get more Ashenestus instead. Maybe there's a grace up here. God, I hope so. Oh, it's a shortcut. the tail spell so and I don't even have like a strong heal though that's, that's strange I have so many miracles but my best heal is just this crappy one what do I need 70 faith for well it just scaling on scaling on weapons goes really really uh really high. Yeah, I tried the moon spell. It was kind of disappointing. <laughs> well, I took you, my match. Lay out your arms. Seventy-eight skill. Hey, I put a heal spell on. It was up to plus twenty-five. <laughs> And say it was worth the hype? Absolutely. This game is fucking amazing. This game is definitely shaping up to be, like, my favorite FromSoft game by quite a bit. gives two faith. Beautiful. I mean, Bl Bloodborne... Bloodborne and DS3 are probably my <clears throat> two favorites. It uses almost no FP and does insane damage. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if they nerfed it, but...
Yeah, it's also very early on. Yeah, I have the I. Well, I have the I beam miracle. This is not flame of frenzy. Is not the I beam though. Okay, was there anything else over here? Oh right, this led into. Okay, so there's two different ways to get into this area. I guess we'll go down. Strength and dex weapons are faith weapon. Strength and dex are faith weapons. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Like, I mean, you can make any weapon a faith weapon, more or less. Well, if you can, if you can use Ashes of War on it, you can make it a faith weapon. So. so good now that I upgraded the holy crap this shit does so much damage how much heal actually heals for. Could have tried it there. of gold. <laughs> yeah, I like the name of this spell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I found Wrath of the Gods. Man, 
and faith build is so good. <laughs> Lovely. Any sights of grace? Anywhere? How much does my heal do? Pretty decent. I mean, it's definitely... Definitely good to use heal to conserve Semestis. Magic is good, but man, it's hard to get off. Cast. I, I haven't found a single talisman to increase casting speed yet. Oh, finally, a grace. Lionels. This is really heavy. I'm overloaded. Is there any other helmets that boost faith from this impet? Tree Warship Incantation. What is the Golden Order? Dragon Cult. This is the Fire Monks. Two Fingers Faithful. Because I have... So I have one mask. Strengthens Golden Order Incantations. Do I have any Golden Order Incantations? I don't... I think I do. Well, it doesn't say it in the description. It is too much, dude. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> There's a ladder you can kick down there.
That must be a shortcut. Get it at some point. Oh man. I want to go back this way and make sure I didn't miss anything. Pallet is quite late game, yeah. I get plus two faith from this mask that I'm wearing. The big lady is not even a thing. It's just chat being stupid. I think this is gonna teleport me. It's not. I have so many of these damn keys. How many hours in am I? 42. Almost 43. Where the heck is this door? Bells over there. You're lost? Yeah, me too, dude. Me too. Glad to be lost. Elden Ring cheat sheet, yeah.
Beck Helms. I don't have any other Helms, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this one? How much can you respec? Like, pretty much infinitely. Exploring this area is honestly so difficult. There's a lever there. I don't think you can stack them. Could, that would be really OP. Hold on. I'm gonna go grab a little snack. I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. How many people are using... I wonder how many people are using this sword now. After seeing me use it. Where I came from. Wait, is it? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, no, it's not. It's not. Or this. Oh, did Box switch to this sword? I'm starting the trend, dude. Sword. What the hell is this one? Oh, I think that opened the gate. It would be cool if they added trick weapons. But trick weapons are a lot of work, I imagine. Ooh, another seed. Are you friendly? Halberd. Oh, I have. I don't have the stats. If there's any unique power stance animations. I tried doing the dragon magic, but it just it uses way too much mana. That's the problem. This is where the lever was.
fully exploring this area is so difficult. There's it's so I feel like there's so much you can miss. attack it and he's so fast I can't even cast well I can I can cast like barely Jesus I just got fucking dumped on dude It'll be a bit easier if I buff, though. That was like night and day difference, oh my goodness. <laughs> Flame of Frenzy is fucking so good, dude. I feel like I'm gonna get some really nice miracle stuff here. There's been a lot of faith stuff. Oh shit, it's Lloyd's shield ring. That is gonna be a very important item for SL1. Probably wanna rush that.
I have not found Moonlight Great Sword. Hey, Red Zorro, thank you for the seven months. Wish I could summon Torrent here. speed run definitely not a speed run i mean i'm sure there might be people who do like a challenge run star fist Ooh, that actually looks kind of cool the blood blood fist Level up to her. <clears throat> seventy thousand. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. These are roots lead to a boss. Did I complete the main story bosses? Nope. Drop down here. Yeah, I'm back to faith build. I need to level up my endurance a bit more, though. Like, I, want, I do kind of want to wear some different armor. far into the game is respecking. Not that far, but... It's also not, like, that close either. Okay, what the fuck is that? Being able to jump is so nice. <laughs>
This is where I climbed up before. But I didn't explore the other areas. I guess it's good I came back here. I don't actually know if I tried that yet. I still haven't activated that checkpoint. I mean, I kill most bosses quickly, but I take a lot longer going through areas than most people do, I feel. And that's not necessarily because I'm dying a lot, I just really like exploring everything fully. It's, it's like the Nameless King lightning attack that those enemies have been using. Yeah, you can still mash out of grabs. Yes, sir. here. The main reason I want to explore is just to find spells, though. So many of the spells I've found have just been, like, hidden have just been hidden off to the side somewhere. Nice. Something stones. Yeah, I, I've looked at... I've been watching a few people's Elden Ring streams, and they'll go through their, their spell list, and they've got like 10 spells. Meanwhile, I have, I have like, 50 or 60 spells. Okay, this fucking guy. I'm dead. How many are good? Well, 
it doesn't matter how many are good. I, I don't know what kind of magic there is in this game, right? So. Fuck off. Alright, York. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I'm. I'm. I am combing through every part of the game. any way to do this. Oh, I'm sure I've also missed a lot of stuff. It's impossible to check everything. I think that's just an empty room anyways. Oh, actually never mind. Jeez, string? Yeah, that guy was using Radon's great swords, I think. Yeah, you can play online without invasions. Yes, sir. I feel like there's an illusory wall here.
wanted to try the spells, alright? What's that item? Uh, it allows you to, like, duplicate an Ash of War, I believe. Level am I? 107. Already, okay, I've... Well, I'd be too over-leveled. I mean, I don't really care. Am I close to the end? Not really. Oh, I guess I... I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I guess I should just try to go up the branch. No, enemies don't scale. They never have. And... As long as Miyazaki is in charge, I don't think they ever will. Scaling enemies is probably one of the things I, like, hate the most in games. Just such, like, a lazy way to balance everything. You don't really ever feel like you're getting stronger. Like, the thing is, if enemies scaled based on...
I wasn't paying attention. Oh wait, no, it's a seal. It's a seal, so it's it's for gravel. No, it's. Dragon Cult's incantations. What a... What the fuck is Dragon Cult? Oh, it's the... It's... Okay, so this is for, like, the lightning... Straight-up lightning, uh, miracles. No, it's not. The Dragon Communion is the the ones that summon the Dragon Head. I have so many of these crafting supplies, but they're all so bad. So useless. How the heck do I get up in that? Oh. Can I really make this? Oh. And sell them for souls. Yeah, for like a hundred each. <laughs> Thorn Sorcery. I feel like this is probably a cool looking set. Dig it, dude. stones Yeah, I haven't actually used the transmog stuff at all. Oh shit. A prayer book. Lord's Heal and Lord's Ada. Okay, I can get a really strong heal now, I guess. Probably. Peach Healing. It's... I mean, healing with a miracle is kind of shit, because it's so slow anyways. Just to conserve Estus in, like, long sections of the game. Alright, well, there's something up top, but... Oh, shit. Painting. Lightless bird painting. I should go hunt for some... Uh, there's three paintings I have now that I still have yet to do. Oh, this actually opens. I know. 
Can I actually interact with this? I guess this just opens the door from the other side. Are you doing that attack? Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna fight this thing. <laughs> hey, Daddy Zeon, thank you for the Prime sub. Well, at least I got the Grace Point here. I tried jumping over Crucible Knight's tail. I did not. It sounds like it would maybe work, though. The thing is, his tail is really fast. Oh, boy. Well. I guess we're going up. been here before. I don't think there's anywhere I can go, though. From what I remember, it was like... Oh, wait, the portal's actually... The portal was not working last time, but I guess it's working now. There's... St I don't have any soul... Uh, my level ups are like 70,000 souls, man. I'm... <laughs> not even close. Shit. Okay. 
It's the Divine Tower. Okay, well there's the root. I kind of want to explore over in this section though, real quick. I'm pretty sure I went through I went through all of this area. I went I went through all of this area pretty much. And then I went through here around and then there's this this the branch that leads up went into this building and then that just led to the divine bridge no i'm not in the tornado place i had, i don't know how to get there There eventually though right. I want to explore these like rooftops area over here a bit more oh I should uh, I should have went to go get the other miracle Everybody just chill chill out. I don't want well, I don't want to know where it is. Let me find it. Hello, Hell's Alien. Search through that courtyard. I think I also killed that knight down there. Yeah, and then I came... I came over here as well. Maybe I have explored actually mostly everything. At least in this area. I think I really just have to get up. I think 
I have to get up on the roots at this point. Okay, I really think just going to the roots is what I gotta do now. I was curious if I could climb up. There was this one root. Um, this one root that leads like all the way up to the building. And honestly, it looks like if you were to get on it, you could probably just climb up the whole thing. But I don't think you're meant, like, you, there's no way you're meant to get on it, but I'm, like, curious if you were able to get on it, if you could just, just run all the way up. <laughs> It'd be pretty wild. There's an item down there on the roof. There's gonna be some really cool parkour strats in the speedrun, I have a feeling. Oh, you guys don't know how to jump over ledges. an all bosses speedrun is that there's there's multiple of the same boss so the question is do you require free instance of this like because you you'd have to kill you have to kill some bosses like four or five times probably <laughs> 
I mean, from a routing perspective, only requiring one would kind of be interesting, but then it's like, which ones, which ones are the best? But, uh, yeah. No veggies, by the way. Okay. Have I beaten the game yet? Is there an easier way down there, dude? Probably kill the dog from up here. 
Oh god, he's coming back. Do I play better with or without face cam? Uh, I think face cam really matters. You climb up this thing? I don't think so. What do we got? Keys. I think I have like 12 or 15 of them at this point. If I... Have I been this way before? I feel like I came through here. Oh, it's like... into the thing? What, down there? I mean, I I already fought that guy. There was a, a corpse that was already looted. That's where I fought the big hand that was using, like, stasis on me. guys before mm, I don't think I've been here I've found quite a few illusory walls, but they are hard to find.
think I was here before. Yeah, because this is yeah, this is where the stray demons spawned. <laughs> I know where the boss is, and sorry, I'm just, sorry I'm going so slow, I just, what the fuck, there is an item on this. Okay. Yeah. I think I, I think I did pretty well thoroughly explore this area though. I think the only the other stuff is up higher, so I think it's finally time to go up the route. I think I have to go up to be able to get onto the the sword. Shit, you know what? Yeah, I should bubble up. so many poppable souls now. I could probably get like two level ups if I just pop all these. Oh yeah, let me go check the Lord's heal. Good call. Yeah, I don't think I can go here. I think I need to go to... Multiplayer status. Interesting. <clears throat> it's the name of the great sword. It's the God Slayer's great sword. Attack rating 677. Greetings. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world, it is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Wow. Poison, blood loss, and sleep. Massively heals HP. Which I guess I'll just buy the other one too. How many main bosses have I killed? Two. Is this... Fucking two, dude. Is there some? Kill him? Oh my god, no. How about I kill you? How about I ban you? How about that? Huh. 
<laughs> Chill out, just. Yeah, have any streamers killed the Pope Turtle? I hope not. That would be so sad. The Finger Sword? Yeah. Sure. So this is a weapon I got yesterday. Uh, got a big flick. <laughs> These guys are weak to fire, I think. Uh, convenient. Any more demigods today? Nope. But we're definitely gonna kill one today at least. I'm sure of it. Up the route. I didn't even know it went down. <laughs> All right, I, I didn't actually put on the new spell though. Oh, we came all the way down here for a smithing stone. Loggers, dude. an item at the flowers, I know. It's just just an item they dropped. I'm not worried about it.
talisman pouch. My fourth talisman chat. Oh my god. That music was sick. Uh, I kind of, I kind of dumped on him though. That's not a demigod. So expensive. I can use the jelly shield now. Yeah, I leveled endurance a little bit. There is a Silver Serpent's Ring. I'm actually using it. So I could raise my max equip load and use some like heavier stuff. Seventy-nine faith. Beautiful. <laughs> well, I could use have I could use some heavy pants at least. Might as well, since I have so much equip load. Oh yeah, now I can go get the item on the weapon. Did I farm? No. Well, I farmed maybe like two levels, I think, or one. Or actually, I don't even think it was farming for levels. It was farming because I wanted to change weapons. I was killing enemies in Kaelid for a little bit, but I really barely did like me. I'm not here. Don't find me.
Yeah, I mean, I don't really like guard countering much, but it is... Like, it's, it's a decent strategy. Oh shit, greatly increases magic damage negation for self and allies. Well, if I'm up against a magic boss, that could be good. More miracles, dude, there's there's a lot of miracles here. Pretty sick. Uh is there anywhere else I can go, actually? Doesn't seem like there's any item on that route. Drop down here. Yo, Gorilla Tamer, thank you so much for the five gift subs, buddy. Uh, it's not a root, it's a sword. But yeah, I can I I was just double checking everything else first. This wasn't the right. Oh, it's this one. Okay, you know, I actually think I have oh five golden seeds. So I have four. Yeah, I have four. <laughs> oh my god. Let me equip the new heal, I guess. I'm not really using Frozen Lightning Spear, it's just, it's so slow. What's it called? Lord's... Lord's Heal. Alright, I'll be back in one sec, guys. I gotta go use the rest of I'm back. It's 
try that again. Yeah, my game has been running okay for the most part, so I'm not not too concerned about like fixing performance. Found the ar this armor in this. It was like in the cathedral in this area, like the big building. Let's try this again. Let's jump over. The bolts of Grand Sax. weapon. Ancient lightning spear. Oh. Imbue the armament with ancient dragon's red lightning, then throw it as a spear. Damn. I want to see if... Can I use this? Do I have anything that boosts dex? Don't. I have a talisman, I think, for dex, but that's it. No, I wouldn't want to respect to that weapon, but I want to see the I want to see the weapon art. It's 40 decks. Quite quite a bit. All right. Up, up we go. You can use weapon arts without the skill requirement, but they won't they won't activate their special effects. So I'm gonna go this way. Scales all arrow damage with faith, revealing its true worth when in used with holy infused arrows. Can I wear this?
Yeah, the thing is, there's still there's still so much stuff that I missed. It's so crazy. To think about. What the heck is this? Oh. I supposed to drop from higher up? <clears throat> oh god. There was an item there. Radagon's Rings of Light and the Law of Regression. Yo, more miracles. Oh, I actually looted it from there. Alright, more miracles. My favorite. Regen build be viable. I've, I've only found one spell that gives regen so far, and it was pretty weak. And this place. Oh, what is that? Oh. Speak of the devil. <laughs> There's the better version of the <laughs> regen. Alright, it's time to go to... to the turtle get some new spells Jesus. 
He's not here anymore. Wait, only at night? Now let me check out the miracle first. Greeting. Oh, what very well. That heresy is an old thing. Rates golden ring of light to attack a wide area. Heals all ailments and dispels all special effects. It's int though. Wait, these are int. Oh, the turtle's still here. Meat peddler's bell. Meat peddler? 
fuck is that? I can buy... I can buy meat now. Great. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'm grabbing another drink. Be right back. Oh man, this game is just so amazing, Chad. I'm so... Oh shit, there's a boss. What is thy business with these thrones? Is Margaret? Ah, Godric the Golden, the twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan, Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. Oh, shit. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Oh shit. Oh shit. Put it upon thy meager grave. He was hiding his weapon the whole time. Held by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. I wanted to parry him, but I can't parry with the jellyfish. Hey, Sly Guys! Thank you for the 25 gift subs, man. Thank you so much, dude.
more got. Yeah, no, he doesn't stagger after a parry. I kind of forgot. Parry timings in this game are pretty weird, I gotta say. You actually have to do it quite early. Lost like 20k souls. I don't care. Hold on. I, I just want to see if this works. Even if it works, I'm not gonna do it. I just want to see. There's definitely a giant invisible wall. <laughs> There's no chance. I'm trying to speedrun it. I'm just curious, okay? <laughs> side. Trust me, if they put a wall on the right side, there's one on the left. <clears throat> FromSoft knows how much people want to skip their, their stuff. Margaret doesn't fuck around. Yeah, his attack timings are Omega Roll Catch. I need to just... I need to be... I need to wait. His attacks are quite fast, though. When they do come out, they, they hit you real, real quick. Pairing him isn't too bad once you get to the other. I think you need to be close enough to parry him is the thing. I don't, I don't know if you can do it from like super far away. I could summon the Mimic. If I summon the Mimic, this fight would be a lot easier. I kind of don't want to, but I could use the Mimic. Isn't a buck? I, I don't know if the Buckler parry is better. I could try Buckler.
I could just roll stab him constantly, yes. At least he gives me time to roll. Nah, there's no tail cuts. It's so slow. How can an int build get time to cast? <laughs> uh, better level up your decks so you can cast fast enough. I don't know, like, you definitely need something to speed up your casting. You can parry him, yes, I, I did it. It's just that. Carry timing in this game is really tough. It also just takes some getting used to it. It's fucking crazy.
this guy is impossible. So weird. I know I can just dodge. I just, it's weird because I feel like I should be hitting some of these parries, but. about something. I'm gonna try to buff my shield. It might it might uh make it so when I get partials it does like barely any damage. It's worth a shot, anyways. Let's see, do these effects Close to finishing it? Not really. To show my stats, yeah. I was like, maybe I can, maybe, maybe I could just like roll it and then attack him, but no, you, that's just, you gotta get the fuck out. Listen, it was just, I was just trying something, okay, chat? <laughs> I wonder if there's like a better version for the shield buff. Rolling? I'm not sure.
period. I'm trying to make the game look hard, yeah. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> XQC beat it first try. I don't give a shit what XQC did, guys. <clears throat> I have 35 vigor. I have 35 vigor and I'm using a talisman that makes me take more damage. So. Remembrance of the Omen King. Yo, I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to get a faith weapon. Oh god. Tarnished. No, but a fool. The Erd Tree wards off all who deign approach. We are. We are all forsaken. Why is my head shaking like that? Oh. 
dead. Why is there still a fog gate here? Back to the round table hold. Oh, hello. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable, a husk of the Ur Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey oh, shit. with me to the Flame of Ruin. Far above the clouds, oh, upon the shit. snowy mountain tops of the giants. Snowy then, mountain tops. I can set the Erd Tree aflame, and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Rolled medallion. I wish to journey with you once more to the flame, then and guide you. Operates the Grand Lift of Rold, collecting Landell to the mountaintops of the Giants. The Forge of the Flame of Ruin is said to be found upon their peaks, and it's here Melina wishes to travel and resuming your journey together. Oh, it's over here. Holy shit. Alright, I want to see if I can go to... Actually, I shouldn't do this yet. Hold on. I'm gonna go... Go see what we got. Yeah, I know I haven't gone to the top you left. Are... I know, guys, I know. You managed to return. You know what this means. The Earth Tree has burned you. The fingers remain still, shaken by this turn of events. They are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. I have no idea. Heavens forbid. That is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the Erd Tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the Rune of Death too? The Rune of Death goes by two names. The other is Destined Death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the Golden Order upon its creation. Unleashing the Rune now would be unthinkable. The Fingers would never permit it. Nor would the Greater Will. Mm. Hey, MBT, thank you for the six months. But here we are. 
the fingers dormant, severing our link to the great. I'm playing on PC. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. It's an arcane weapon. Morgoth's Cursed Sword. Use FP to unle- Oh, this is Int Faith. Regal Omen. Many wraiths that chase down foes. Race then charge forward to deliver a di downward diagonal slice. The bloody trail of the blade is followed by a burst of flame. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Sounds pretty cool though. And it's a great sword. But it doesn't have any... I also kind of want to try this. I could dupe it. Alright, this thing is probably gonna be shit. You can you can dupe it after you use it. It's no big deal. Thankfully. Ninety-nine faith. How's the moon spell? Pretty bad. Yeah, HP is for fucking bitches. All right. I don't need no fucking HP. All right, you know I'm gonna try going. I'm gonna go do the west area. Yeah, I climbed up the dragon's wing. I, I I explored the the northern area pretty damn thoroughly, I think. Pretty sure I got almost everything. I'm not sure about I don't know about the water here if I can get into this area. There might be something I missed around here. I went up th I went up this thing. This is where I got the I can't, I can't even remember what it was. I got something good. Oh right, the divine tower. I need to go check the rune. I think it's here, hopefully. Never mind. Where the fuck is the divine th how do I unlock this gr how do I <laughs> unlock his uh Is there another one?
Must be like further. Maybe it's maybe it's in the next zone. Kind of want to go this way, and I want to explore the west western area. It scales with int and faith, so... This is solid, like, 700 damage. Uses a lot of FP, but... I could go for Margit's sword. I could go for Margaret Sword and uh, just get a little bit less faith, I guess. I still want faith for like the self buffs and everything, but I need really like 70 faith. Another ladder. And a I'm like not sure where I want to go right now. Yeah, I've killed... <laughs> Apparently Morgoth was one of the demigods. I, think I already went up into that tower before.
How do you know which bosses are demigods? Well, if they drop a great ruin, they're a demigod, I believe. Is my interpretation, anyways. I still need to find patches. There's too many bosses in this game? Well, majority of the bosses are optional, so... that I wish they copy pasted that uh big gravity worm dude I, I don't even know what to call it it was like the rock worm with the weak point on its face in like the the mines I think I've, on I've only fought that one that boss once surprised they didn't use him again compared to the I don't even know what it's called that big tree slug thing for the the falling star beast maybe that's yeah i think so oh welcome dear customer yes right Hello. this way right this way Welcome, valued customer. Please, I'm hungry. Oh, <clears throat> Explosive great bolts. Okay, I'm gonna buy some just because that sounds awesome. Wait, they're great bolts, not great arrows. Do I have a great... Wait. Do I need, like, a great crossbow? I haven't found those yet. Guess we're going further up. I doubt, I doubt anybody's gonna run all achievements for this game for, uh, quite some time.
probably check my crafting. Is there any anything I can make? Volcano pot. What about the perfumes? Burn wielder's body to steel. Uh, that is kind of tempting. The assault on Volcano Manor, the squalid, the sick, the blasphemous, a wretched, unending war with the moon. Any percent is definitely going to be the most popular category for this. Honestly, all bosses might... Like, I don't know, some... Some sort of hybrid category where... I don't think all bosses with every single dungeon boss is going to be that exciting. Speedrunning-wise. I think some, like, hybrid category would be better, but... I mean... I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Typical. Classic. At least the boss is like literally right here.
Somber Stone 6. Falling Star Beast Jaw. Gravity Bolt. 34 Strength, 20 Pint. Well, I could pop one of these just to see, I guess. be fired in rapid success. Probably not bad, actually. do I get to Volcano Manor? Guess I can go this way. Yeah, I'm also getting some lag here. Another Estus. Feels good, man. Yeah, this area is uh, quite laggy. <clears throat> Maybe I should try to try to do some of the performance fixes people have mentioned, because, man, this area is... This is definitely the laggiest it's been. Pop comment on Steam. What, what is... what is the... What is the top comment you say to do? Yeah, I'm on board of this. Grab this real quick. Oh, he's stuck. Damn, that's good.
I can try to do this real quick. Hold on. Let's see. I mean the game runs game runs pretty okay anyways, but uh, I doubt it'll break anything. If it does, I can always just change I can change it back. Where the fuck is shader cache size? I can't even find that. I don't know where I can't remember where I found the gold scarab. I've just I've looted too much stuff. I can't I can't remember. Uh whatever. I maybe I'm just not gonna bother with this. It doesn't Boot the game real quick. The hidden Celia cave with the tri triple boss room. Mm, I don't think so. Celia? Shader cache thing is fake. To be honest, I feel like all... May I don't know. I feel like most of the suggestions don't matter. It's really not lagging that badly. I don't really care. But I figured... I could just spend a few minutes and see if it helps. It's end. No. The stream is not even close to being over. Probably still got a solid, like, eight hours left. <laughs> Alright, so we got the map. Alrighty. Digital Foundry did tests with their best PC on 720 in the game. Dipping is just gonna dip anyways, yeah. Oh god, it's so big! Holy shit, it's big. Oh god. 
here. I'm full faith now. Yeah, I'm like level 74 faith. Went uh, pretty hard on it. I'm front page. Uh, maybe? Oh my god, it's this guy again. Temporarily boost poise. Eliminate all FP consumption. Oh wow. Yo. That that uh holy shit, that lag spike. That uh that flask with the comet spell from the int build would probably be pretty pretty insane. Just spam comet like I don't know how long it lasts, but... Oh yeah, the Dragon Breath would be even better. game just keeps going, yeah, and I love it. Love it so much! <laughs> I don't want it to end, but it's not going to end because even after I beat the game, I'm just gonna do another playthrough. <laughs> Card. If this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy, blasphemy would bring, then I can no longer abide. Oh. Well, we're working our way to the Volcano City. It's my idea for my next character. I'm not sure. I might go for more like a... I might try to go for like a dex int build. Something along those lines. I already looted this.
That's where I came down. Wait, can I go this way? This giant gives me that spell. That would be so cool. He's not going to, but... I want that spell. I wonder if you can get that, where you just, like, keep going. Just keep shooting it. Yeah, he did go mad towards the end there, I believe. So that's where I went down. Okay. Oh, this place is looking cool. The Volcano Manor. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, this place is really cool looking. Oh, it's these guys. At seventy five faith. Good. Aren't you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us, against the Erd tree. Sure. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. The drawing room use the key I hand The drawing room use the key I handed you. Well, you can't attack here anyways. Visions of friend plump sort. <laughs> Guys, yo, that looks like the fucking whirly gig saw. Saw, basically. <laughs> I 
And it causes bleed. Holy shit, this thing's probably pretty good. Wonder what an upgrade is. It's gonna be miserable in PvP. I mean, it's a pretty slow weapon. I am tempted to try this weapon, but I think it upgrades with normal smithing shards, and I definitely don't have enough. I have enough to get plus 18, I guess. Cannon build? I don't have a cannon. Can I buff this thing? No. Go take a look at what it upgrades with. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. It upgrades with somber stones. I could upgrade to plus seven. Accusant sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did, I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You I'm at right now. The day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road. That's where they just you wait. Didn't I just join them? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't know that. It's fine. I meet. All right. Volcano Manor. Where'd I get the big saw? I just got it here in Volcano Manor. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and respec. I want to try this weapon. I haven't opened the door with the key. What door? Ah, is it thy now? Let's see what the damage on this thing is like. I I don't know how to open the chest near the respec lady. from Volcano Manor. This reminds me very much of Canehurst Castle. Request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnish to be hunted, Old Knight Istsfan. Can be found in Limgrave, find the red mark on your map for the exact location. A pleasure to meet you, brave tarnished. I am Raya, the scout. Nice posture. Very pleased to welcome you to the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave Tarnish under Lady Tanith. Thanks. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished, bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider that is a cool looking your weapon. Own kind, think on that. This blasphemous path leads only to Oh it's Ah. Oh it I it's it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I, um, I can tell. You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I... After much internal debate, I've come to realize revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue. That my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. You guys got a cool armor set. 
I always resented these hands, their pale complexion, a far cry from any warriors, the shame of House Hoslaw. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. After all. I always resented these hands. I will be running any percent for this game starting out, but I won't be doing speedruns for a while. I, I want to do a second playthrough of the game with a different build, and when I do my second playthrough, I'll probably just, you know, let people... Well, hopefully all the boss locate all the boss locations and stuff will have been figured out at that point. left for you that is the task the volcano manor desires you enact you will be compensated once the deed is done good luck if you are loath to hunt your own kin so be it but you must leave this house at once this is a war against the earth tree we have no place for the meek nor the luxury of keeping clean yeah, this hands. is like the dark brotherhood the letter describes you will be comp I feel like there's more I feel like there's something I'm missing. I already went upstairs. Their perfumer. What's your babe do?
Bloodhound Step, skill that allows the user to become temporarily invisible while dodging at high speed. Moves faster and travels farther than a regular quick step. Oh boy. Well, I got the... What poise thing did I get? I got, uh... I have an iron jar, but the thing is, these are like single use, I think. All bosses, no hit. Never. Yo, what's up, Haiti? This entire area was hidden behind a fucking illusory wall. <laughs> I'm not jumping down there. Love that they brought back the whirly gig. God. We got this. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, the DPS on this thing is insane if you can actually keep it going. That's the hard part, though. use most of the miracles. 